Spray cans, one of my favorite art making tools. And after painting a whole lot of murals, you end up with a whole lot of empties. Last year, I turned 60 empties into these unique collectible Kipto cans. And now this year, I'm doing 100. Why 100? Well, 100 just seems like right over the edge of a little too many. Probably gonna be kicking myself later, but uh, hey, we'll figure that out when we get there. First, I'm gonna poke a hole in all of these so I can ship them anywhere. Next, we're gonna add a base coat. I'm gonna be doing the same colors as last time. I really like how they came out, so I'm just gonna do it again. I'll start with a red base, spraying down a whole bunch at once. And then, I'll come in with the blue and add a fade coming up from the bottom. And once those are done, I'll switch it around and do a blue top and a red bottom. Ooh, that's a lot of cans. <laughs> In order to tackle all 100 of these cans, I'm gonna split them up into four rounds of 25. That way I can focus on 25 at a time. Well, guess it's time to get started. I started with a rough sharpie sketch to lay in all the concepts. I got a bunch of ideas planned out on my iPad already. I like to start with something planned out, at least for the first round. First drawings were little species of fantasy creatures and warriors, each from different lands or seas. I love headdresses and different garb and conceptual outfits that let your imagination run wild. It's pretty hard to draw on a curved surface like this, especially if you're doing something symmetrical. You gotta make sure things are all lined up correctly on each side. In order to make a hundred of these, I'm redrawing each design a few times and we'll make different color variations for each so they are still unique and like they are part of a team or a tribe. And this guy is one of my dudes that I like to paint. I've done him a few times over the years. No official name yet, but he's still simply known as the Traveler. I'm gonna mix all my colors in big cups so my process can be super streamlined. I just use my mural paints and mix them up like a mad scientist to get what I want. All right, got my colors. Ready to blast off. Systems online, clear copy. All paints accounted for and ready. Clear to engage, starting circumferential rhythm. Picking up speed, generating energy boost. We have connection, base speed reached and climbing. Force reaching maximum levels. Power is good, we are clear to launch. Open the portal. One, two, three, go! First, I'm gonna lay in all the dark colors on every can, assembly line style. This way I can work efficiently and just go down the line with each pass of color, layer by layer. This will help build up the forms and values and I won't have to wash my brush in between. Although with this method, they don't look like much for a while. You gotta learn to trust the process and have the vision and foresight that it will come together with each new layer of color. And I like to start with the broadest strokes possible first to lay in the big shapes and get a sense of design for each can. Bright red like this can be tricky. And sometimes these colors need a couple coats to fully set in. The paint dries fast enough where I can pretty much do two coats while working around the same piece all at once though. I 
midtones are almost done. But it's starting to sink in how long this entire project is really gonna take. Sometimes my ambitions can get the better of me. The beginning of a huge project like this is always a bit intimidating. You don't really understand the scope of it all until you actually start doing it. Then, once you're in it, there's no looking back. Mid-tones are done. Now, we just got these light colors left to go here, which really makes it pop. So, this is the exciting part. Let's go. These are basically just lighter colors of what's already on there. Creating building blocks to establish the forms and the values of each character and making them come to life. That's color. Here we go. Using these three hues together makes for one of my favorite color combos. It's easy to overdo it though, so finding a balance between them all is key. And letting some areas shine while other parts are there just to accent it. Now that all the layers of paint are done, there's one more step to go. I'm gonna use these Faber Castle brush tip pens. It adds that final touch to these cans that makes them really pop and feel complete. I'm not usually one for inking or black lines, but something about using it on these cans really sparks my fancy. Sometimes I felt like I could even paint with the pens too, using it loosely like my brush and getting even more energy into the piece. I was so in the zone at this point that I had totally lost track of time. I had been painting all morning, all day and all night and into the next morning before I came up for air. Well, first round is all done. It's about uh, six in the morning right now though, so I'm gonna go get some sleep before I hit round two. <laughs> We're on our way. That's 25 down. 75 to go. Are you ready for round two? 25 more. Let's do it. Now that I had the first round under my belt, I felt a lot more comfortable and the second wave of sketches flowed much faster and easier. But I was finding it a bit challenging to come up with a hundred Kipto things to put on these cans. But partly why I want to do it so I can have that challenge. I want to make more art that screams Kipto, so this is my way of trying to work that out. Some of it is old work that I am repurposing. Some of it is characters that reappear in my work. Some of it is uh, experiments of new things I'm making. Just gotta put on some good music and get in the groove to create and have fun with it. Each can had a purpose. An artwork was created using these cans that, that meant something. And now they're being turned into uh, an artwork of their own. It's hard for me not to get a little nostalgic thinking about all these projects that these cans helped me create. Wow. This can is from Kipto vs. Robot back in 2018. Mm -hmm. 
each one further sending me towards a completed project, a new breakthrough, a new style, a new way of creating. I see each project as a stepping off point to the next one. And what I can take from the last one that inspired me or changed me. How can I push this idea further from the last time? round was taking about 30 hours in total to complete over a few days work. I was feeling good about this round and was gaining more and more confidence as I went along, although the energy required was starting to take its toll on me. After another long night of painting, I hit the hay to recharge for the next round. Uh, uh. Okay, well, I'm ready to rock the next round here. All rested up with some fresh eyes. These are looking super cool. I put the, the black outlines on these ones, so they're looking really sharp. I'm digging how all these are coming out together. We got these seahorses here, some owls, some cool butterfly designs, some cool turtles, some knights, and these awesome mask faces here. And check this out. We just got some brand new hoodies in the shop, some new Kipto gear, you wanna check that out. Based on my previous big canvas called Brave Ones. We got t-shirts and we got hoodies, so make sure to grab those while they're still in stock. Some awesome new Kipto merch. We got a badass six color screen pit on the back with a cool little chest plate up front. So make sure to grab some new Kipto merch at Kipto.com. Now, I really like how these ones are coming out with the big faces. I feel like it gives the whole can itself a personality. So I wanna do the next round three with just designs like this and uh, see what we can pull off with that. So let's have some fun. Yo! Right. Look at us. Bunch of misfits, but together. Like a family born on the same day. It's so true. Trying to be with you, fellas. What's going on? Y'all know I can throw all ye off the plank of this table here if you don't quit. Shut up, Dale. We all know you got that outfit from the thrift store. Yar. Yar. And brush your teeth, man. Come on. Let's finish this. Together. We don't have to fight about it. Yeah, come on. You can no do more it. We're punching yeah, and hungry. kicking. Who else is Smell hungry? that guy. You guys, you guys can do it. Yeah, I don't have to fight. I wanna fight. Oh, well, well, oh it's gonna be like that, huh? Oh, okay. There she blows. Get it. Uh. I win. Man, okay, well, after 36 more hours of work, round three is done. And as fun as that was, exhaustion is really starting to kick my ass now. So many spray cans. All I can think about is spray cans. I'm doing a hundred. Am I turning into a spray can? Come on, Kipto. You can do it. Get up. Come on. You got this. You can do it. 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 I'm so tired. I don't know if I can do this. I've come this far already. Come on. So many cans. I should just quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. Push yourself a little further. Come on. You can do it.
And so Kip Claus kept up the fight, one at a time. Do them well, do them right. Layer by layer, they all come alive, pushing hard for these last 25. When's the last time you did 100 pieces in a row? I'm sure of one thing, it'll make you grow. A challenge not for the faint of heart, pushing what's possible with my own art. I've come so far with these sprays, staying focused and diligent day after day. But exhaustion is starting to take its toll, using every inch of my being, every ounce of my soul. I can make it, just a few more cans. You got this, you can do it, stick to the plan. Each new piece, a breakthrough of sorts, I think. Pushing my creativity to the brink. Just when you thought it was done, I added one extra to make it 101. A fleet of cans, customized and unique. A crowd of characters, a family, so to speak. Made with gusto and passion and love. A project I can really be proud of. And if you like what I do, please pick up a can or two. A very special gift from me to you. Each unique can has its own story. It's up to you to continue their glory. One last stroke, one last line. Was it true? Yes, indeed. Victory was mine. I let out my final battle cry. Yes! Now it's your turn to finish off their quest. Who knows where they may roam as they all reach their brand new homes. Oh my God, we made it. Wow, that was, that was a hell of a lot of cans, but man, we did it, did we? Oh my God, this was such a crazy project and I'm super stoked about how all these came out. I could literally feel my painting and drawing skills improve as I got towards the end there. You do a hundred of anything, you're gonna, you're gonna get there fast. If you guys wanna pick up a can, they're all available right now at kipto.com. You gotta be quick though, cause last year they sold out in one day. And yes, I do international shipping because they're all punctured and depressurized, so scoop them up. I really had a blast making these, even though it was, uh, it was a gauntlet and I'm exhausted and sleep deprived, but uh, man, the results speak for themselves and I'm really happy with the amount of effort I put into this and I think you guys are gonna really dig these. Each one is totally unique. We have different designs with different colorways. You could uh, find someone else out in the world who has a similar design but a different colorway and have them meet up together. And uh, I'm, I'm proud of myself for pushing through and making it to the end here and giving it all my best shot. There's definitely uh, something to be said about making a goal and sticking to it and and uh, just just giving it your best shot, you know? And uh, I, was, I was really stretching at the end here, the last few, it was kind of just went back to my roots with graffiti, figure painting, and comic books. And that's kind of what I like about all this. There's like different little flavors of each of my own inspirations and interests and style mixed out through all this whole batch here. You know, coming up with a hundred different things to paint is uh, a lot more challenging than it sounds at first. So this not only pushes your technical skills, but also your creativity and your concepts and like your storytelling and your characters and you know, all that stuff that goes into uh, a piece of art that, uh, that I enjoy. I'm gonna be working like crazy shipping these bad boys out, so get them while they're hot and uh, should be around for Christmas time. Big shout out to my patrons. Thank you guys so much for the support. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, I got some brand new hoodies and t-shirts in stock in the shop, so make sure to go check that out, as well as prints and sticker packs and all sorts of other goodies to spark your fancy. And without further ado, let's check out that final slideshow. Hit it, baby. 